Hi, Eric. Um, just wondering if there's any fresh knocks uh, after the, the game on Wednesday and whether Anthony, Martial or McTominay could be available on Sunday. The last I don't expect, but you know, we have some days, obviously, but um, I don't expect it. And if I can oversee it till now, I don't see any new problems coming up. With, with the three of them, can you see them being available for the Barcelona match, or is it longer term than that? I think same answer is, uh, I can't say for 100%, but I don't expect it. Hey. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just going across. Um, the injuries, obviously you've got some longer term ones, but is that a consequence of playing so many matches? And with the Barcelona games coming up as well, and then you've got an FA Cup game, could that have a, a detrimental effect on your season? Because you're the only team that's still going for four things. Yeah. Uh, injury. Um, so if you see Christian Eriksen, uh, you can't um, see that as an impact uh, from the tough season. But it's definitely it's a tough season uh, with the World Cup in between and uh, a lot of load. I think overload from the players. And that's quite clear. And I think that process is already longer term going on, that yeah, the load on the players uh, is too much. I mean, people spoke before the World Cup about the impact that the World Cup could have on the domestic season. Is it going to have an impact on Manchester United in terms of how you're able to train the players, the number of players you've got available, whether players are tired and you're going to have to push them through anyway? Yeah, but also, I say, um, Christian Eriksen, you can't put that under that uh, under that, that reason, um, Martial, you can't put that under that reason. So it's also yeah, really uh, individual how we how we can see it and how we find the reasons why things happen. But also injuries, and that's um, yeah, if you play top football, uh, you uh, you go across limits, and yeah, it's injuries were coming up. That's also a normal issue, I would say. Which um, I, I noticed with, with interest your comments regarding Jaden Sancho coming back last night, scoring. Obviously, Marcus Rashford uh, has been reinvigorated this season, certainly his form coming back from the World Cup. I wonder how much pride you and your coaching staff take from working with, with young, talented players like that and overcoming difficult situations and then seeing them succeed. Oh, that, that makes this job so, so exciting. And it's, it's wonderful to work with young people and to get the best out of them. And, but finally, and they have to do it by themselves. But sometimes, yeah, they need, they need motivation. Sometimes they need a push. Sometimes they need um, uh, interaction. Sometimes they need also um, inspiration of a plan. Hey, and I mean, clearly you were less than happy the way you started both halves last night, but did you learn something about this group of players as well and the way they, they ultimately responded? Yeah, of course. I think it's um, it's not easy. Uh, you have to replace some players, um, uh, so the routines are not there. <laughs> uh, that that's obvious. Uh, so we had the combination over the right last week uh, was really well with Aaron and with uh, Anthony, and now yeah, it was a new combination uh, in the holding midfield position. We have to bring another player there uh, on the. Um, uh, Christian Eriksen fell away, so the whole midfield construction um, is new. Yeah, and that takes time to get in uh, um, the routines again, and yeah, that takes games. And yeah, um, th and that was obvious yesterday. But still, I think then <laughs> we played yeah, quite well. But uh, the st both starts killed a little bit our game. Thank you, Samuel. Uh, Eric, you said the other day that Alejandro Garnacho's development had been somewhat unexpected. Uh, how would you assess the way he's played since the World Cup? I, I think he's doing well and um, he has an impact on our game. I think he's a threat. Also yesterday, um, he had good actions, was lively, uh, created chances, but had to score. And uh, finally, it's about that, that you have an effect. Uh, and as a striker, uh, you have to be on, uh, on that list, the scoring list, uh, assist list, key action list, to have the right impact. And of course, we expect them also to do the other stuff, 
uh, but that is the, the base the base stuff is also important and if you can't do the others uh, the extra and uh, then you have to do that as so that is your your base function but <laughs> at man united player we expect you to have an impact uh, to influence the score to influence the result to influence a positive influence on the game by scoring goals and having assist yeah and when he came off last night he seemed quite frustrated he seemed to like when you were trying to console him or explain he seemed to like <coughs> flick his hand as if to d dismiss you did you notice that no and he seemed very frustrated when he came off against palace as well um, is it, does he have to? I mean, he's only 18. He's only starting in the game. Does he have to calm down a bit and understand these are decisions you have to make? Uh, but I, I, I don't think it's uh, about that he doesn't understand the decision. Uh, he's, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's quite emotional. That is his strength. Uh, he's bringing the game. He wants to win. He wants to play football. He wants to, uh, and he doesn't want to miss any minute. And I think that's a cool thing. Uh, he's totally uh, convinced about himself. That's a good thing. You need that uh, to under uh, the biggest stress f factors that you have to perform, and he's doing. Um, and he wants to contribute till the end, uh, but um, but he accepts decisions. Um, and yeah, we uh, team is always above everything, and I think he knows that. And I think yeah, when he's coming off that emotion and that frustration, is not against that uh, that he's that he's not accepting it. And, but you've always been very positive about the way he runs with players. He always seems to have a very positive attitude and isn't afraid to try things, which can always make a difference in a game. Yeah, I think I have to. All the players have to be brave. And what you say, to try, uh, as long as it's in the interest of the team. And uh, that is what he's doing quite well. But because he's taking players on, and he's outplayed them, he's creating, he's um, uh, creating chances. Uh, uh, from yesterday, yeah, he should have scored. Uh, last question, Peter. Eric, good afternoon. Um, two big European nights coming up in prospect against Barcelona in the Europa League. Fresh reports today, though, of a European Super League, a new structure. Where do, where do you stand? Are you, are you an advocate of the fact that European football has to move on and has to change, or are you, are you a traditional supporter of the Champions League? I, I'm aware of the dynamic, what's going on in international football. But if I, have, if I see, if they're coming up new ideas, I have to have a look at it and then I will make an opinion. So I'm not aware because we're playing so many games in this moment. And we um, have to develop this team. We have so, some problems with new players to bring in. Um, so that's where my focus point is. And therefore, I need all my energy and about new European competitions. Uh, all the people in this club uh, will have a look at it and will inform me if, if the time is there. And if the moment is there, we have to make maybe decisions, but decisions is up to the club.